waiting too long for her order. This enraged customer just barged into a restaurant that is only doing takeout. No. And now several employees are pushing her back out. The manager agrees to the refund, but before they can even process the request. The employee who was struck grabs a fistful of the customer's hair. Several other employees try to stop it from escalating any further. And the parties are finally separated. I was assaulted, not the whole crowd to see you. She's been shopping up on me the whole time. Go ahead, my glasses. The irate customer who leaves the scene before police arrive is later tracked down and charged with a misdemeanor count of defiant trespass and summary counts of disorderly conduct and harassment. Not to mention, potentially making other customers wait even longer for their takeout orders. We got people already waiting for three hours for food. Wildly. <laughs> Your buddy in the Honda tried to cut. Like, what you doing, bro? Moments later, the driver of the white car gets into it with the driver who blocked her from cutting in. Wow, yo, she spit on his The woman spits on the driver in the silver SUV. So he hops out to settle the score. When police arrive, they charge both drivers with assault. Yo. The male driver is hit with an additional charge of damage to personal property for the cell phone. It remains unclear if either driver was able to fill their tank Oh! In a recent survey, over half of all rideshare drivers who responded said that rideshare companies need to do more to ensure their safety when dealing with unruly customers. And there's more than enough video evidence to understand why. Thank you for extending me your seat cover considering I had nothing offered me no you, napkin, no you didn't no ask nothing. You, you, you didn't offer me anything to, to blow my nose a rideshare driver is dealing with a problem passenger who seems to be intoxicated and she just ripped off a headrest cover to use as a tissue you didn't offer me anything to, to blow my nose thank you for you for didn't ask. For, for the seat cover. You haven't spoken to me since you've gotten in the car. I yes, said, hello, how you. are you? Thank you, madam. From here, things only get more bizarre and more belligerent. Since you considered me your, your jealousy from picking me up. I'm jealous of yes, picking you, you up. you are so jealous from picking me up. Thank you for offering me your seat cover. Mm. You're welcome. I really appreciate that. What, what else do you have to offer me, madam? The driver, who up until this point has managed to keep her cool, begins to lose her patience. Do you really want to make it this next half a mile, or do you want to walk it, honey? Um, do you want to... I have the right Excuse to kick me. you out of my car. Excuse me. What do you want to offer me? You I want to offer, offer you point four of a mile. You Shut your ass. Nothing? Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. But this writer has no intention of shutting her mouth or stopping her unsavory act with the upholstery. And as the ride approaches its end point, the situation takes a sudden, sharp left turn. Like, I'm sorry, I don't have the same skin tone as you. You're where is your like apartment? You. No, 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 I don't have the same skin tone as you, so you're kicking me out of your car, bitch. What is that supposed what to say? What the is that supposed to mean? 
I don't have the same skin tone as you, so you're you right me over. the same color. Your ride is over. Your ride is over. Your ride is over. If you I don't, don't have the same skin up. tone as you, bitch. The driver spots a security guard nearby and asks for help. You bitch, because I don't have the same I'm a driver, as you. and if you could please help me, that would be awesome. And that's when the rider crosses a final line. The rider spits at the driver, I don't know. which is legally considered battery in the state of Florida. The driver retaliates by physically confronting the passenger in the back seat while pleading for the security guard to call for help. Please call the police! Call the police! Are you kidding me? Call the police right now. Yep. Hey, you don't want to turn her loose, ma'am. Yep. Let me go. Are you kidding me? Get the out of my car. I'm getting the out of your car. The passenger exits the vehicle, and the nightmarish ride finally comes to an end. Bitch. Yeah, you're a bad bitch, aren't you? But thanks in part to the video. Oh, I have her sick. I have her snot. I have her Police are able to track the passenger down. 28-year-old Stephanie Young is arrested and charged with battery. She is released on a $500 bond. I don't and is permanently banned from ever using the rideshare company's services again. Get the out of my car. I'm getting the out of your car. These days, getting the food you want when you want it is easier than it has ever been. But on this Christmas day at a Tennessee drive-thru, a long line of customers are in for an unpleasant surprise. Keep it rolling. <laughs> and are we gonna go by the... Yeah. <laughs> Eventually. All these people waiting. <laughs> and they're not even open. <laughs> You can even see the holiday hours. Christmas Day, close! What are people doing? Close! On the plus side, if they're extra patient, they'll be first in line for the day after Christmas. Oh, God. That's funny as hell. So that's what you chose to do today? No. You chose to do that. Two customers are arguing about who got to the pump first at a gas station in West Palm Beach, Florida. That is crazy, y'all. Look at this. She's stopping the whole pump because she want to pump gas. The man filming believes the woman at the pump cut him in line. She just swooped in on you? Yeah, she put her oh pump in there. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. I scooped up on you. Are you kidding me? Where is my car right there? Whatever. Wow. Hey, brother. You Man. Know, you're kidding me, right? That's no, crazy. He's not. not. <laughs> he's not kidding you at all. Okay. Ah. That's crazy. Like, you see this whole thing right here, bro? Just, you know what? You're a better person. I'm just looking at this guy. It's funny, bro. Like, I'm not... The man does a good job of laughing off the seemingly rude behavior. Oh, man. Yo. But he's in for a big surprise. Keep that rolling, dude. Keep that rolling. This dude's crazy. For real. <laughs> when the woman finishes fueling up, she does something that leaves the man speechless. Yes, it's on this side. I'd like side. to pay for your gas. What would you like? How much do you want? Okay. She buys him nearly sixty dollars worth of gas. Yes, yeah, it's on this side. I'd like side. to pay for your gas. What would you like? How much do you want? Which goes to show, customers may not always see eye to eye. Oh. I scooped up on you. Are you kidding me? Where is my car right here? Whatever. Wow. But that's not a reason to add fuel to the fire. Yeah, I'd like side. to pay for your gas. What would you like? How much do you want? At a parking lot near a stadium in Houston, Texas, 
the game has yet to begin. But competition for fan parking is well underway. Are you trying to ruin this day for people? This isn't how it works, though. Look, you don't get I'm the out. driver, and I jumped here, and I got here. Are you guys high? You're obviously high. That's Move along. Let's all have a good time for the Astros. We've That's got not two how kids it works. In the car. That's not how it works. It doesn't man. matter. And you're the one climbing so in it. So you're going to ruin the day right here we're, by pulling we're everybody good. up. We got, I got lunch to eat, man. We're good. Go, go get you in your car. You are not real Astros fans if you're acting like this. And that's the truth. This woman apparently jumped out of the vehicle she was in to reserve this available spot, which is not only frowned upon by most, but illegal in the state of Texas. While the driver recording is claiming the spot for himself. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. It doesn't man. matter. Because he and his car. I got lunch to eat, man. We're good. Are actually here. Let's go. Get this crazy lady out of here, somebody. Hey, I'm not moving. My car's pulling in right here. You're going to miss the show Come then. On, baby. Moments later, the woman's husband arrives with their vehicle and pleads his case. Let's go. Dude, that's not how it works, dude. Come on. You got to drive around and find the spot. Come on. If that was the case, everybody would be doing that, and we'd be, and this should be a show. Come on. How old are you? How old is she? Come on. That's not how it works. Let's go. Meanwhile, other motorists in the parking lot are getting fed up with their face off. What do you want me to do? He's in front of you. I'm not in front of you. Am I in front of you? Why are you not beeping at him? Despite the mounting public pressure, both parties appear determined to go the distance. I know you're getting tired. I'm not tired at all. But with game time quickly approaching, the reality of sticking this petty competition out appears to finally sink in. Astro fans, and you both should minutes. be ashamed of yourself because there's You'll kids. You'll be on Facebook. This is karma. You'll be on Facebook. Karma. And with that, the woman surrenders the space. Here's hoping the game they're all attending has at least as much drama. Are you guys high? You're obviously high. As the one they just played. Let's go. Get this crazy lady out of here, somebody.